News Services Division of All India Radio presents Employment News. Welcome to the program Employment News. In this program, we discuss about various aspects relating to different career options and tell you about some of the job vacancies where you can apply. Let's begin today's program with an interview on a very interesting topic that is research in the defense sector. I am Pragya Devra and we have with us Mr. Anuj Sinha. former advisor in the ministry of science and technology mr anuj sinha when we talk about research in the defense sector what is the scope and what are the job opportunities available this is a very interesting question defense research in our country is a very matured field of work for bright young people and the areas of specialization that they have requirement for are a full spectrum for example we require leather technologists we require textile engineers we require chemical engineers we require electronics people we require of course i mean say ballistic experts etc and now all these experts are not available you know fresh from the engineering institutions so fresh engineers and fresh scientists are constantly recruited and they are given specific exposure training as per their interest and as per the requirement of the organization to be able to become useful within a very short period for the various challenging assignments at the laboratories there are many about 40 41 laboratories directly under the government in the ministry of defense and uh, some are with the HAL or aircraft people or um, i mean like that with the defense electronics which are in the public sector and um, but largely they are with the government ministry of defense research and development organization over the past 4 uh, 5 decade the whole system of hiring scientists of ensuring that there is a career progression of ensuring that they are continuously updated with regard to their technical fields all of it has been very well established also that there is a continuous growth and that ones who are performing well are rewarded so the system of assessment of their work is also very well established so a young person who wishes to use his and lend his services for defense research can be assured of many challenging assignments over a period of four or five decades that he will be with the institution and that he will be continuously motivated to take up new challenges and he will be rewarded by being promoted first i mean say the what we have is a system where one gets a promotion without necessarily change of the assignment also there are opportunities where you become team leaders or laboratory heads for those who are looking for assignments and who have that capability and uh, finally of course all this merges into as i said a nice pattern which is overseen by the defense research organization that sounds really fascinating so if a young person wants to pursue a career what are the positive aspects and what are the challenges that that person might confront the challenges are that there is not too much available of the type of work that is being done in books or in journals so unlike other fields if if i were to be working in the fertilizer sector i mean i can always refer to journals and books which will tell me everything that i need to know about the fertilizer industry but in defense i mean say this is not available because also the research which our scientists are doing is also not published as far as defense area is concerned because of strategic consideration because it is possible that my team of young scientists is working on some a specific step which is crucial for indian defense and may equally be crucial for the enemy so therefore it will be be not wise to have it published also there will be no not many opportunities for getting individual patents or anything like that because again for strategic considerations what that is required for defense should be available for defense it shouldn't be becoming in a patent domain so you will own the technology so that type of ownership would not be there so these are two considerations the assignment that you are given generally would be novel and um, you have to begin from your fundamental first principles of science and engineering to be able to tackle it and then the success that you achieve against very specific time target because maybe the army or the navy or the air force has demanded something very quickly or they have given you a time schedule they are our ultimate customers so we have to mean ensure that our um, research is such that it can be passed on to the defense forces in time 
for their requirement. Many, many years back, remember a talk that I had given on the action that was taking place in the 1970-71. And um, that time, the Hindustan Aircraft Limited, HAL, wanted a particular type of adhesive for the NAT aircraft. And um, that work had to be completed against a very tight time schedule. All the other parameters are known. It will have to face such stresses. It will have to be able to handle this type of temperatures. But the whole thing was that uh, the total weight cannot be exceeding this much, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But it was time-targeted because at that time there was a challenge of the Bangladesh, those who were an elder audience would remember that, in 1970-71, we were preparing for facing the Opportunity Act on the Eastern Front, which was at that time East Pakistan. So everything was, I mean, say, time targeted, and the challenge was developing that particular adhesive that would meet the requirement of the operations of the NAT aircraft. It was completed, by the way. So those are the type of challenges that come, but you don't necessarily publish it, and you don't get patents for it. I must also add that there are opportunities for mid-career training for senior-level scientists, for young level scientists and for the mid-career. And that helps them to get a perspective of the type of work that is expected from them as they grow up in the organization. And uh, this, I think, is a unique feature of the Indian defense scientists, which I believe is not there in the other organizations with the enemy country. Thank you very much for providing us an overview about research in the defense sector. Thank you. Now, let's move to the next segment. In this segment, we tell you about some of the recruitment vacancies that have been advertised and matters connected therewith. Let's listen from Renu Kataria about some of the job vacancies. Following Fellowship of Research Associates and Junior Research Fellowship are available to work in Defense Research and Development Organization, DRDO Project at Defense Laboratory, Jodhpur, Rajasthan, a material cluster laboratory of DRDO. Two post of research associate. Four post of JRF physics or material science. One post of JRF chemistry. Two post of JRF electronics. One post of JRF computer. Duration of fellowship is two years for RA and JRF. JRF may be extended further and upgraded to SRF as per rules. Fellowship emolument at present for research associate is rupees 54,000 per month with HRA and medical facilities as per rules. Fellowship emolument at present for junior research fellow is rupees 31,000 per month with HRA and medical facilities as per rules. Age should not exceed 28 years for JRF and 35 years for RA. Age is relaxable up to 5 years for SC and ST candidates and up to 3 years for OBC candidates. The crucial date for determination of the age limit for all the posts will be 31st August 2020. It may please be noted that the offer of fellowship does not confer on fellows any right for absorption in DRDO. Applications in the prescribed format, complete in all respects, should be addressed to Director, Defense Laboratory, Ratanara Palace, Jodhpur, 342011 or applications in the prescribed format may be uploaded online through internet at director at dl.drdo.in. Back to you, Pragya. Thank you, Renu. Information about these vacancies has been published in the Employment News. There are vacancies that have been advertised in the journal, which we have not been able to cover due to limited time. If you wish to read about these employment opportunities and more, you may refer to the job journal titled Employment News for Information in English, Rozgar Samachar for Information in Hindi, and Rozgar Samachar for Information in Urdu. It is published by the Publications Division, Ministry of Information and Broadcasting, and made available on every Saturday. With this, we come to the end of this program. We will meet again tomorrow at 4.20 p.m. You were listening to Employment News. This program was produced and presented by the News Services Division of All India Radio. You can listen to it on a mobile app, News on AIR. This program is also available on a website, newsonair.com. You may email opinion about this program at airnsdtalks at gmail.com 
with employment news as subject.